What's up guys, Godlike Matt, and we're back with some more Demon Souls. Thank God! Here I thought this series was done. Meanwhile, it's just getting started. I'm excited. I can't wait. Mm. Alright, so here's the work I'm putting, guys. BAM! Look at that beauty. Nice. Now that's nice. Look at it. I pure blacked every single level. Thanks to that nifty item duplication glitch. Uh, shout out to Stockpile Thomas for helping us out with that. And if you guys are wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, bam, there's the link to the video. I recorded it when I did it. So, um, but yeah, we have all the levels at pure black. And we still have more than half of our ephemeralized left. So we're good. We can die as many times as we need to. I'm going to keep playing the game in soul form just because it still offers that little bit of challenge and that's the whole point, right? So I'm just going to stay in soul form all the time uh, just to make it a little harder. I mean, I'm also using the cling ring and I know what you guys are thinking. Matt, if you're going to stay in soul form, why don't you just, uh, you know, fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, not use the cling ring because what's the point you're already in soul form well uh, see I'm okay with adding a little bit of extra challenge see I want to do this level next but he's gonna be a fucking problem god damn it how the hell am I gonna get past him what I can do is just run fucking past him actually Let's see how this goes. Because like I said in the previous video, I don't even want to fight these guys yet. The the Black Phantoms. I just want to... See, I'd like to fight him. This one, the Skeleton. But I know Satsuki's still chasing me. Yeah, he's literally right fucking behind me. Oh, God! This is getting out of control. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, sweet Jesus! How the fuck am I gonna do that? I think I have to kill him. I think I unfortunately have to kill him. See, I want to do World 4 first because I want to upgrade my Crescent Flash. And I feel like it'll really help me out. Also, I just lost all my money because there's no fucking way I'm running back for it. Alright, Satsuki, let's do this. And if he hits me with even one of that heavy attack... I'm done. Or, or anything, for that matter. How can I go back there? We're gonna take a long time. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll kill him eventually. Well, I was gonna go out of that right at the end. I'm making this look so fucking hurt dirt. But if, if he breathes on me dead, but in a way, that's kind of the beauty of it. I don't really have to worry about making a mistake because I'm already in soul form. There's nothing worse than dying. I'm already on pure black. This literally can't get any worse for me. So, and I did that willingly. So, I really don't care how many times he kills me. Um, now it's just a matter of just beating him. Come on, you bitch! Uh, I was looking for that guy, so. Okay, I don't want to go against the wall because I just keep hanging on. Well, I got him over halfway. It really sucks if he kills me. Surprised he didn't go for a hit there. He might have actually been coming. Come on, you bitch. You bitch! What's nice about Sasuke is when I kill him, uh, I don't have to worry about him ever again. He'll be dead forever, so. Boom! What the fuck am I gonna do now? He's just gonna do it again! Oh my, that's so bad! You guys have no idea! Holy fuck! Everything you just saw me do, I have to do it all over again! Fuck! Holy shit! I actually almost have him back at half health, so... But, um, yeah, I can't let him do that again, cause... yeah... But the thing is, if he rolls toward the skeleton, I can't really chase him. Because if I aggro the skeleton, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. 
For fuck's sakes, he didn't ping off my shield. Damn it! How the fuck am I going to do that? I have no idea. Maybe I should stick to the whole running strategy, huh? He aggros immediately. How is that fair? No! Oh my god, how am I going to do this? The skeletons are such a fucking problem. Like, this would be possible. If they weren't right up my fucking ass! No! Run! I can't run. They're too up my anus. God damn it! How am I gonna do this? Holy shit! I literally don't know. This. Uh, oh my god. It feels impossible. See, unfortunately, I'm trapped in a never ending loop of this problem is never going to go away because the only way I can make this problem go away is if I had a, uh, a better weapon, a more upgraded weapon. Because I deal way too little damage to ever dream of killing him. That's my biggest problem here. And it is a big ass fucking problem. He almost killed me there. How is that not a backstab? I really don't understand. I, I know I'm gonna get so mad when he rolls toward the skeleton and I can't chase him. Because if he does that, then he's going to heal when he gets to a certain amount of health. I need to keep him up against this wall. Okay, that was a big mistake. It's not even fair! I was so ready for him to do it, it's not even funny. I was so ready to punish it! And he- ah, That is awful! That is cancer! Wow, dude, he- Like, the heal is Korean! He just goes, Nom! Full health! One second! Holy shit, dude, how am I gonna ever kill him? The worst part is, uh, everything I have is breaking. My armor, my weapons, my everything. So I'm gonna have to, eventually, when all this stuff breaks, I'm gonna have to fucking go grind some money just to repair the stupid shit. I don't know how the fuck I didn't block that. Okay, now I'm at a point where, like, I'm starting to feel like it's hopeless. And, uh... It's not good. He does a rolling slash? That just made my... Okay, so I actually thought that this could be possible, but now I don't. Yeah, it's... It's too consistent. He does it too often. It, it's just gonna cuck me every time. So that's, that strategy will not work. I can't kill him that way. So I can't beat him in a fight. And I can't, um, can't run past him either. I really am not sure what I'm going to do there. I honestly have no fucking idea. 
Like, there's, there doesn't seem to be an answer. I think the, like, the only thing that could possibly help me get out of that situation is if I could deal more damage. That's a lot of damage! Okay, let's try my look in Stonefang. Um... Yeah, or should I, should I do Stonefang? Or should I do 5-1? Nah, I'll do Stonefang. Alright, Stonefang it is. Stonefang is a relatively easy level. Um, it's long, but there's a shitload of items in this level, which is nice. Uh, mostly upgrade materials, which is also nice. Um, I could just solve my problem by uh, using a different weapon, but... This weapon's my baby, okay? Like, me and the Crescent Flashian, we have history. This is, like, in my opinion, the greatest thing since sliced fucking bread in this game, alright? Run! Fucking boulder. The boulder takes issue with that comment. But yeah, I shouldn't have any trouble in this level. This should be fine. Can't remember if I left anything up here. Lol, there's the primeval demon, that fat, ugly fucking bitch. Look at it, it's hideous. It looks fucking retarded, but it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be so fucking screwed over if my damage doesn't go up, because in the other Souls games, that's not how it works. If you're using an infused weapon, most of the time, de depending on the infusion, your weapon will not scale with your stats because it's using magic damage. And that would be, like, kind of broken because you'd not only be gaining damage from your stats, but also your infusion. And the game deems that, like, kind of unbalanced. For good reason, like I understand, uh, magic weapons are usually pretty powerful by themselves. So if 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 they were as strong as they were and also benefited from stats, that would be uh, pretty significant. All right, I actually thought that there was stuff down here. At least we can get a good look at this fucking ugly bitch. This thing actually can attack you, by the way. It doesn't look like it can. When you run up and start hitting it, um, if you're if you're standing right in front of its face, it can't actually hit you. I'm pretty sure it can hit you. So, most people wouldn't know that, I would think. Because most people who would attack it would probably attack it from the side. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it can hit you. But, uh, I'm not going to kill it because, um, well, for one, it doesn't fight back. Uh, like, it's super fucking easy to kill. And it can't move. It literally can't move. It's stationary. Um... You get a primeval soul, the, or the soul of a primeval demon for killing it, but, um, and if you wanted to platinum the game, you would have to get those, but, uh, I already platinum the game, so I don't fucking need them, and ow, fucking dog, bitch, but, um, yeah, uh, the main reason I'm not gonna kill it is because when you kill a primeval demon, your uh, world tendency goes up by three levels, so definitely don't want that. I love that they're dropping spider stones. Like, that's making me really happy, because um, the only other weapon I want to upgrade, aside from my flashing, is my bow. And um, uh, spider stones are the best upgrade for the bow. It gives it the most possible damage. So, uh, I'm happy I'm getting a lot of them. Because I definitely plan on... Uh... Man, that's bullshit. He does so much damage. Holy fuck. There we go. There we are! Oh, nice. He just reimbursed me. Or no, wait. No, he didn't. He gave me a different health. I thought he gave me the one I just used. Whoopsie! Look at this sneaky bastard. Mm. Piece of shit. 
<laughs> you could just sneak up on me like that? Oh, think so, motherfucker. It's 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 such a joke how little money enemies give you. Like, um, if you want to grind money, like if you ever needed to, definitely farm the skeletons in World Four because they give like almost 300 souls per drop. Reason for that is because they're so difficult to beat. Like they're very threatening enemies. But um, like if you're fighting like two or three skeletons at the same time, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get your fucking ass kicked. Let alone fighting just one. But, uh... Yeah, they're definitely the most intimidating enemies out of all the levels. Am I gonna bother k killing him? Or maybe I should, just so that he's not firing shit down at me from from up top. Whew, that was close. Run! Hey, you fell. That's good. Hup. Yeah, fell down and took no damage. Oh, mm, mm. damn! He almost hit me, and I would have hated that. Give me some more health, bitch. This one time. You can run, but you cannot, bitch. Scary turd. But uh. Look at that, they drop a bunch of shit. The guys with the bags have a shitload of um, materials, which is pretty nice. I don't know why I'm using the heavy attack. It would be so much faster to just hit them with the single strike, since I do so much damage to begin with. Uh, we already pulled the lever, because I had to run through this level already to pick up the ephemerals. But, um, as you can see, I didn't pick up a lot of the items, so... Still gives me something to do. Bingo, Yahtzee! But, uh... I feel like I was talking about something like a million years ago, and I just kind of don't know what that is anymore. So, But, um, I really wanted to play through World 4, but uh, Sotsky makes it a serious problem. Oh yeah, I was talking about, uh, like, weapon stats. Yeah, so, like, I know Demon Souls is different, and I'm kind of hoping that there's a way for me to get stronger. Like, what I could do, if I really wanted to, is uh, I could upgrade, like, my longsword, for example, and, like, fully upgrade it with, like, a different material. Because I, I only really want to upgrade um, my flash in, which is the weapon I'm using right now, but it can only be upgraded with Dark Moonstone, and you can only get Dark Moonstone from World 4. Which is the level I was trying to play, but I can't even get past the beginning. So, if if my if my strength can't go up from just leveling up strength and, and dexterity, then I might have to use a different weapon just to beat um, Sotsky. Like, literally just for him. Which kind of sucks, because that's so... That's such a... Like, that's so going out of my way just to kill him. And I really hate that I have to fight him, too. I hate that I can't run past him. Like, I literally tried. I I will... It'll get to a point where I run out of endurance, and the skeletons just end up fucking my anus. Because they're so goddamn fast. So there's, like, no way I can outrun them. So that kind of sucks. But, um... Hey, here's hoping. I'll just do this level anyway, whatever. There's a Black Phantom Miner over there. What? But uh, that's actually something I, I was trying to talk about in the last part. Oh! And I just kind of got really sidetracked and couldn't uh, talk about it properly. But how am I missing him? Are you fucking serious? This gecko's kicking my ass! Holy... Oh my... Pinging off the wall can literally mean you're deaf. It's crazy. There's a bunch of geckos in there, but there's just no way to kill them. Or, well, I could archer them, but... Wait, how much money do they drop? Like, would it actually be worth it to kill them? Did he die? 
can't even see him anymore. He like fell in there and I have no idea where he is. Okay, you know what? I'm just not gonna bother. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Fucking melted. So I already uh, opened this pathway and I could just run straight through there to get to the boss quicker, but um, like I said, fuck that. Wow, none of the other enemies aggroed. Interesting. Boosh! 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 Since these enemies are so fucking easy to kill, it doesn't even matter that he's a black phantom. And actually, I wanted to say this in uh, the previous part, but I just literally never really got a chance to, but... Or not in the previous part, but in my vlog. Because last part I was complaining about how after I beat Latria, um, my world tendency, like, skyrocketed for some reason. And I was so confused, because I didn't know why it happened. All I did was kill the boss. And I even went through, like, all the different ways that you could raise your world tendency. And here's what I think might have happened. This is the reason I think that maybe uh, my world tendency went up as much as it did. I think it went up one level for each black phantom I killed. Because it does say on the wiki that if you kill a black phantom that uh, that invades you, that uh, that you raise your world tendency up by one level. But it's it. I'm I assumed that only meant players invading you, like actual players in the online. I didn't think. Oh, I thought I didn't pick up the item down here, but I guess I did. Um, I didn't think that killing regular Black Phantom, like, computer-controlled AI enemies in the level counted as Black Phantoms that could raise your world tendency. If that's the case, I didn't know that. And it's honestly the only thing I could think of that could have possibly raised my world tendency as much as it did. Nothing else makes any sense. I killed the boss, it shouldn't have gone up by like three or four levels, which is what it did. So, I'm really not sure what happened there, but I th that's the only thing I could think of that possibly explains it. Because it would make sense too if that was the reason, because my world tendency went up about four ranks. So, and I killed around four uh, black phantoms in that level. So it does make sense, if that's the reason it happened. Just saying. But I, I wanted to point that out, because uh, I never actually got the, the chance to. Man, I really wish I could be doing more before right now. God damn it. But at least I do have a fix, like in case I, I get stuck and can't kill Sotsky. Normally there'd be items over there, and... Uh, this is really tricky, but you have to, like, sprint across the board. It'll snap the second you s step on it. So you gotta sprint across it and then roll, and you can just make it to the other side. Oh! Holy! Up! <sighs> Holy fuck, that was clutch. I thought I was fucked, man. Look how much health I lived with. My god. I should be dead. I live with a magic pixel. Holy shit. They all just fucking rode up on me. <laughs> they creeped up on me. I had no idea. And they, they had me pincered, dude. I couldn't move. Couldn't get past them. I had to kill them. I, thank god I played that perfectly. Because if I had to play it in any other way, it would have went south. But, uh, yeah. I'm still alive, thank Christ. <laughs> that was like the most terrifying thing that has happened in this level so far. No! The army of the Stone Fang people. Get back to your mining, you bitches! Up! Oh. Nope! Don't hit me. Don't hit me, dude. Alright, there we go. Bitch! Alright, we did it. Okay. So, uh... Jeez, I lost train of thought. 
I was so concentrated on surviving, I, uh, I don't remember what I wanted to say. I just realized I never actually repaired any of my equipment uh, after the whole Sotsky shenanigan. I fucking hate these things, dude. I hate how difficult it is to hit them. Okay, two-handing seems to be a lot easier to hit them. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. Sup, bitch. They dropped 77 so- What the fuck? Oh! Damn you! Got the drop on me. They dropped 77 souls each. That's actually not too bad. Compared to the miners. Compared to the miners. Haha, <laughs> when I say miners, it kind of sounds like miners, as if they're kids. No. Oh my god, he can hit me through the fucking wood. And I can't hit him. That's some bullshit. Whew, that was close. That was almost like hell in a handbasket. As Bill would say from Left 4 Dead. That's the first time I ever heard that quote, was him saying it. But we doing good. Man, I'm so happy that I can still play this game. Like, it's hilarious how hard I've tried to make this playthrough work. And I'm so happy that it finally can. Like, I'm, a, I'm officially at a point where I am calm. And I know that no matter what happens next... That's bullshit that he didn't flinch. Uh, no matter what happens next, I know that I can complete this playthrough and do every single level on pure black. That's bullshit that they don't flinch, man. Holy fuck. Hatred. The enemies in this game react so differently than enemies uh, generally do in the other Souls games. Oh, that's so bullshit. So much damage for no reason. But anyways, I already pulled this, so... Whoop! But, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to to get a grip on how the enemies fight, because I just can't remember. It's been so long since i played this game. Yum, yum. But, uh... What time are we looking at? Oh, wow, we're doing good. We're doing good on time. We're doing good. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's comforting to know that I have nothing left to worry about. Like, now I can just concentrate on actually beating the game. And, like, yeah, that'll be challenging. And I'm sure there'll be some stressful moments where I get my ass kicked and die. But, uh, at least I'll be doing what I originally intended, which is playing a pure black playthrough. Uh, again, thank you so much, uh, Optimal Hunter. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't even be happening. I, I genuinely debated how I was going to make the playthrough work. Like, I thought about it, and I was like... I, I was actually... What I was actually considering doing is... Because the filthy woman... I actually didn't mention this in the vlog. That's bullshit! Oh, my goodness. I didn't mention this in the, in the vlog, but the filthy woman... She, uh... I actually wasn't sure if I was lined up for the backstab at all there, but thank god I was. Boosh. Boosh. And then he's gonna do all my health. And I'm gonna run around the wall. And he's one of these. A big problem I'm having with these enemies is that they don't fucking flinch when I hit them. Like, I'll go for the attack, and then their attack will just power right through it. And I'll take full damage, and I'm not a fan of that. But, um... Yeah, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Optimal Hunter, again, thank you, because, uh, you really saved this playthrough. This, you guys get to enjoy more Demon Souls videos, thanks to him. Because I noticed a lot of the problem I was having with a lot of the comments was, um, and not that I was looking at the comments and saying, Man, fuck you guys, none of you are helpful. That's not what I was thinking. Like, I was just sad because none of you guys that are watching this playthrough really know this game well enough to be able to help me. But Optimal Hunter did. He knew about the glitch, and I didn't even know about it. Like, he knew something I didn't, which is crazy, because I know this game very well. But, uh, that was really cool. Like, that was a total saving grace, and boy, did that work out. I'm so grateful, honestly. Because, like, it sucks when you 
put all this effort into thinking of a fucking idea for a great video, and then it just can't work out? Like, that sucks, dude. That is awful. Especially when you've already recorded three videos, you know? Which is what what the case was. I had already made three fucking videos, and then I find out, oh, I can't make any more? Like, that sucked, dude. I was so pissed off. But thank God it actually was able to work out. Thank God. But, uh, that was Stone Fang. We're pretty much at the boss now. Actually, I think there's a Crystal Lizard down here. Crystal Lizard! I think maybe down this way? No? Oh, I don't know why I thought there was a Crystal Lizard here. Oh, maybe... Maybe he spawns after the boss? Because I'm almost positive there's supposed to be a Crystal Lizard in this room. Look at all these fucking miners webbed up to the wall. That's terrifying, dude. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Can you cut this? No, it's... That's so weird. It's literally treated like a wall. I ping off of it. The fuck? Now, with this boss... There's a way I have of always killing this boss. And, uh... You guys will find that out firsthand. Armor Spider up! And there goes my controller royally fucking me over. Um, no! Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, here we go. I think this is where I can stand, actually. I don't think he can. Yep, you can. Okay, so yeah, this is the main game plan. You want to just stand here. And uh, he can't hit you here, but you can hit him. Sort of. Okay, he can hit me with the webbing, but I'm fine with that. He can't hit me with the fireballs. So yeah, and then you just stand back here and just keep shooting him until he's dead. Help! <laughs> it is so difficult to run up and fight him. Like, if you were to run up to where he is, it's, uh, much more challenging. His melee attacks are very hard to dodge and to, to deal with, because he, he just spams them when you're right in his face. And he just goes ape on you, and it, it makes it really difficult to deal with. But, uh, yeah, I should have more than enough arrows to beat him, which is good. <laughs> My fucking cheese tactics, dude. I, I, I have a way of cheesing almost every boss in this game. Almost. Uh, some of them have to be fought fairly. But, um... That's not the case with Armor Spider. And Armor Spider, I'm really looking forward to killing because his soul nets you one of my favorite weapons in the game, which is the Lava Bow. Um, a lot of the boss weapons, or I mean a lot of the boss souls that they drop, you can make weapons from them. And, uh... The weapon you can make with Armor Spider is the Lava Bow. And all I'll need to do is get a plus 7 bow. And uh, when I have that, I'll be able to turn it into the Lava Bow. Also, I definitely don't have enough arrows to kill him. Pretty sure I'm going to run out before he dies. I only have him at half health. I started this fight with, what, 70 arrows? I do have some extra arrows of a different type. And I might be able to do something with those. But, uh... I might have... I, I might actually have to run up and finish him off with melee. What the hell? I was gonna say, what the fuck happened to my camera? The camera is so fucked up. Okay, here we go. Stop webbing me! Come riddle me this, you little bitch. How's your wand gonna meet my staff? You guys like my fucking, uh... Pro tips, dude? <laughs> Seriously, this boss is such a pain if you find him the right way hate him, so I'm totally cool with killing him this way. Totally cool with it, dude. 
<coughs> no. Man, I couldn't give a proper no there because I had to cough. That's not cool. Boosh. Oh god, I only have five arrows left. No! I actually might be able to kill him with the rest of my arrows because I'm pretty sure I have like 14 different arrows of a different kind. Okay, so now I'm going to have to equip my light arrows. And I'm pretty sure they do more damage too, so... Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to kill him with just my bow. The light arrows do way more damage. Hello! One, one more arrow should do it. Hell yeah! Armor spider down! Woo! At first I was a little worried because I didn't I didn't remember where I was supposed to stand to not be able to get hit by him. But uh, thank god I figured it out rather quickly. Woo! Alright, armor spider in the bag. That is world 2-1 on pure, uh, pure black world tendency. This, this is fun. Uh, I've never actually played a, every level on Pure Black. Like like I said in the previous video, like I got the, the levels to Pure Black so that I could Platinum and get the unique items. But I've never actually played each and every level with Pure Black World Tendency. Oh, there's the fucking... Uh, the fucking uh, Crystal Lizard. I don't want to run up and fuck him up. Let's try my luck. Get him! No, he's going to run into the enemies. Oh, God, that's a problem. Oh, God, all these miners, they are going to royally fuck me. Anytime now. This fucking lizard. Don't! I gotta kill him before the miners. Kill me. No. Ep. Run. Oh. Now I gotta get out of here. If my controller can just not fuck me on the rolls, please. Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, the thing about the crystal lizards in, in Demon Souls is that they're finite. They have a uh, limited amount of spawns. If you actually let one get away from you... Um, a pure fucking... Do you always get the pure spider stone for killing armor spider? I don't... I think you do, but I just forgot. But, um... I don't actually remember if I'm absolutely right about that. But, uh... Yeah, uh, if you miss the crystal lizard and he despawns or, or he runs off a cliff, you'll lose a spawn of the crystal lizard and the the crystal lizard only has as many spawns as there are levels in the world so for example world 2 has three levels there's the level i just did there's the next level and then there's the third level where you fight um the dragon god but uh each time you beat like let's say you let the crystal lizard despawn because you missed him and you didn't get him then you would have to beat the boss in the next area to make him respawn, and then you can go back and kill him, and he'll have, uh, you know, he will have respawned, and uh, that's how you can do it. So once you've beaten all the bosses in that world, and he, and he's died as many times as there are bosses, then that's it. He can't spawn anymore. So you'll like permanently miss his loot for the playthrough, which really sucks if you, especially if you need their items very badly to to finish maxing out your weapon. But anyways, guys, that was 2-1. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's going to be more. Again, thanks to Optimal Hunter. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me out. And there's definitely more to come for you guys. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching. And I will definitely see you. In the next one. So have a good one, guys. Take care.